Hey air signs, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the Pure, the Black, and the Magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is always greatly appreciated. Okay, so air signs um, or cross watchers, this is for you for the week of the 17th through the 23rd of April. Give or take a couple of days, very general messages, you guys. So please keep that in mind. It may not entirely resonate with you. Just take what does and leave what does not for the next person. Um, so you have, I'll put it back, uh, air signs, but you have communication is key. It says new moon in Gemini. Okay, so something this week um, requires communication. But I feel like y'all are having, of course, Gemini is air sign energy, but I feel like y'all are having mixed emotions about something. It's like you do, but you don't, or red pill versus blue pill, angel versus devil type of energy. I picked that up um, for the fire sign, so it could be in regards to a fire sign, but also we have don't let your pride get in the way popped out here, and this is a full moon in Leo. A Leo could be significant. We have prosperity lies ahead, okay, new moon in Taurus. And the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. Um, I want to say it's something like don't hold yourself back or y'all might be feeling like you're too good for something or a situation or um, it's just the energy of like maybe stubbornness or playing hard to get or something like that. I feel like something has the potential to come into your life, some sort of opportunity or something like that this week, Air Signs. And it's a need for you to... Um, it's almost like a stubbornness, like you not wanting to go for it just because or you wanting to be difficult, okay? Or maybe this is someone in regards to you or maybe you just playing too hard to get or something. I saw the Queen of Swords in the Tarot, so it's like you're very like cutting, okay? Or maybe you actually don't want this attention or you don't want whatever, whoever this is that's coming towards you. Um, And it says, what do you need to release? It's kind of like Maybe what has the potential to come into your life is being held off or delayed or you're blocking it out because of something from the past, okay? Whether it has to do with the same person or the same type of situation or not. Something like that is going on. Um, but the first time that I got for you guys was Chosen by Ty Dolla Sign. Um, and then the second song was Go Crazy by Chris Brown. And I feel like this week, you guys, like somebody is... Um, like wants you or has it out for you or something like that but it feels like in the best way okay like the best way possible um or it feels like they have good intentions but i guess that is subjective depends on how you look at it okay um but somebody wants you but it feels like air signs this could be you okay but i feel like it's in regards to you like it feels like somebody's trying to steal you away from something or someone else like if this is a relationship this is someone trying to buy you away from your partner steal you away from your partner like spend money on you like really trying to convince you um it's almost like somebody who meets like a ball player or a celebrity or something like that and they date you know somebody who works a nine to five or something like somebody is trying to like buy you okay or um wine and dine you but i feel like you already belong to someone or this could be um like a job um like a contract or a business proposal maybe you already have a job or something like that and it's like this this offer they're trying to one up whoever it is whatever it is you're already committed to so that they can get you to play for their team or something like that okay some of y'all it could be some same sex something going on so that could be it too um it says a time to give rather than to take and it says look at the bigger picture okay maybe a time to give to yourself um air signs i don't know let me see what this was that popped out your hard work is paying off. Okay, so I don't know. Let's see. And that says uh, it has something about a Capricorn. Maybe a Capricorn is significant. A time for healing. Okay. Hmm. And then Virgo. Virgo could be significant. So go ahead and like the video. Comment. I comment back. Share. And of course, subscribe. The more you interact here with the content on the channel, the more I push your energy into these messages and I can better pick up on what's going on with you, air signs. Starting off with the Moonology deck, then we'll go to the Energy deck, um, and then a the Tarot for extra messages. Happy Easter for all of those who celebrate, okay? So let's see. All right, what's going on? Well, let's look at the bottom. It says, a fiery climax approaches. Yeah, a fiery climax approaches. I feel like this is very unexpected. Full moon in Aries, okay? This is Aries. Ooh, 
okay? This is Aries season. It says full moon in Aries, although the full moon was, the moon placement was in Libra. It's during Aries season. So something connected to the full moon, which was Saturday, okay? Something, maybe Saturday is very significant for you, even though I'm doing this reading for like Sunday through next Saturday. Um, and then we have confidence is your key to success. Something about a fire sign, because this is Leo and Aries here. Definitely fire energy all up in y'all's energy this week. Um, but somebody is trying, maybe you don't trust it. Like somebody is coming on very strong. If they're not trying to steal you away from something or someone you're already committed to, they're just trying to buy you. Like they're coming on very strong. Like they, maybe this person is very confident, but you're just not as confident in them or you don't trust the situation for some reason. Um, so be more confident this week, air signs. I feel like that's a, a message for you guys for sure. So let's see. All right. So the energy deck, we have your heart chakra here. And we have action. Somebody is trying to get to your heart. Like somebody is trying to win you over. If they're not like trying to just, you know, flaunt and buy you and spend money on you like material materialistically, like I feel like they're trying to buy, they're trying to um not buy you, but they're trying to win you over. Action to the fourth chakra, action to your heart chakra. Like somebody is coming on very strong and heavy. And behind that, behind the action, we have care and connection. So somebody has good intentions for you, possibly, okay, or someone just has the intention to get you, okay. Or hold on to you or something like that the sun card behind that so it could definitely be a leo um or you could just have leo placements here okay seventh chakra storm warning so maybe somebody is like really coming on very heavy it is something about it that you don't trust with the seven your crown chakra seven chakra and the storm warning like you just feel as if either you really know that this is just gonna be a shit show or you just feel like it's just gonna i don't know for some reason you feel like there's something up with this the world card patience but you still question it at the same time so you you're not necessarily writing it off you're just not trying to make it be known that you are considering or contemplating something here thinking woman anxiety and indecision this is all air energy okay journey and appreciation um i did see the the uh man holding a coin card here okay it's like somebody's trying to offer you something somebody's coming out very strong all right or this is you in regards to someone or something else. Let's see, spirit. Messages for my air signs this week. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What is the energy looking like? Who or what is coming towards my air signs? Anything we need to know? Any clarity, confirmation, spirit? Any extra messages for the air signs this week? All right, so let's see. Here you go with the crown chakra again okay something some sort of clear i feel like you are trying to figure something out air signs okay i feel like you're trying to read a person or a situation you're really trying to like read in between the lines or hear what's not being said okay maybe you're very attentive or very attentive to like details or what somebody is saying some sort of communication um that's why the communication is key card came out it's something about something that you are hearing reading being told that you're reading through maybe you see straight through it okay or you're trying to decipher like what's going on here door to value angel of balance it's a lot of air energy libra okay with the balance gemini aquarius here um, it's like you are wondering if you should take this up. It's something with money though. Like I feel like it's I don't know if this is bribery or something very valuable, materialistic, somebody with a lot of money or some great opportunity. Like you're trying to figure out if it's really worth as much, if it's really this valuable or if it's worth like opening the door to this or re-entering this or, um, something here. Some of y'all have some sort of secret or knowledge or idea that's going to bring you in a lot of money, okay, business, okay, or business opportunities, proposals, partnerships here, okay, it's going to bring in a lot of balance for you. Patience card, but you're holding on to it. Some of y'all know something, but you're not, you're not letting it be known that you know something. I don't know if this is in regards to this person that's trying to like sway you, woo you, this person is trying to come on very heavily to you or not. But you're waiting before you make something known or before you unleash some sort of information here. The world card, door to value. Yeah. Before you, it's before you do something. Okay. What's next card out in community? Whatever this is that you have going on, it just feels very life-changing or like a great shift or transformation in the energy. 
Um, but I'm seeing like a lot of attention on you. This community card is like my it girl, it guy type of card here. Um, an angel of balance. I don't know. Some of y'all are trying to, maybe you already have this great opportunity or eyes are already on you. Okay. For some reason. Um, and you're trying to just balance out, I don't know, the attention or something like that this week, air signs. We got blossoming abundance at the bottom of the deck. You have the door to value, all this money, abundance here. The world card, something, it's almost like a once in a lifetime opportunity or you guys are falling into like some money or some sort of great business opportunity, like, like lucky type of energy, like luck is on your side. The fire signs had that too. So a lot of y'all had like fire in your chart, okay? Um, moon rising, north node type of energy or Jupiter, your Jupiter, blossoming abundance, angel of strength, okay, and all tied up. You're getting out of a situation um, or if there was some sort of lack or delay here, there is like some sort of um, reviving type of energy that's coming through here. Pillar of the ages, your intuition and the goddess of the moon or something like you did not give up on. Okay, you're getting um, confirmation that it was a good thing that you didn't give up on something this week because it's working out for you. It's like all the attention is on you. Okay, so let's see. I don't know, though, because I keep hearing depending on how you look at it. So I don't know if you guys want this attention. Maybe you kind of do, but it becomes overwhelming or too much and you don't want it. I don't know. Some of y'all want this attention. Some of y'all don't, whether it's from one person, multiple people, whatever it is. Okay. Um, at the bottom of the tarot, we have the Magician card. So the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, the Six of Swords and the Fool card. Some of y'all, it's like it's like a shift. Like I feel like y'all are planning or plotting something. Some of y'all are planning to get away from a Leo or a Leo and Aries. This is Aries, the full card. Strength card is Leo, okay? But if you look at the imagery, it's like you're trying to get away from this Leo, okay? Ooh, okay. Knight of Cups with the devil. Mm -mm. Yeah, if it's a Leo pursuing you, it's a no. And I know it's a lot of like... um. It's a lot of like Leo, Libra energy, um, like as far as relationships, Leo and Libras tend to like attract each other. Um, it's something tied to this person though, or if it's a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? Um, I want to say it's a no, or maybe this person is just too obsessive, like too obsessive or too much that is unattractive to you. Okay, but I feel like some of y'all, it's like some sort of plot twist or something that you're planning in regards to somebody or something. So let's see, like something that they're not expecting. Look at this seven of swords. Seven of swords, <clears throat> excuse me, eight of swords, the emperor and the two of wands. Somebody is something about, for some of y'all, it's a Leo and an Aries. It's something about... Maybe somebody feel like you're sneaking away or somebody's trying to like deceptively keep you from getting away or moving on or something like that. Let me just go ahead and pull because y'all got some funny business going on. Okay, temperance card. It's all going to come to the light. Okay, hangman energy, nine of cups, four of swords. Maybe somebody's being selfish, very self-serving. Okay. They did something that was very selfish, okay, or something like that. Didn't consider your feelings about something. Let's see, spirit. Messages for the air signs this week. Page of swords here. Three of cups. Somebody could be lying about like a third party situation. Knight of pentacles. Ace of swords. Seven of pentacles. Five of cups. I'm hearing, because it's a lot of back and forth. I'm hearing back, back, forth, and forth. Um, the Aaliyah song. So I don't know if that's significant. I was going to say a Capricorn could be significant. I believe she's a Capricorn. So maybe that resonates for some of you guys. Um, ooh, okay. Spirit, what is the message? What's the energy for uh, the air signs this week? Who or what is coming towards the air signs? Any clarity, any confirmation, any extra messages? So let's see. judgment though yeah judgment something's being revealed released okay something is being made very clear here 
This is the energy of chosen also. Maybe somebody made the wrong choice here or something about someone getting a taste of their own their own medicine. Maybe somebody tried to have, like they're going to try to have one up on you, but it's really one up on them. Like somebody really like screwed themselves over in a situation with this judgment card. More Aries energy, okay, Scorpio energy. Libra energy with the justice, judgment and the justice. The earth signs, I believe, just had this. So you could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, what else? Eight of Wands. Yeah, this is balance. This is justice. This is some sort of um, clarity that's coming through. Something's being communicated to you. High Priestess, you already knew, though. Some of y'all could have Pisces in your chart. Okay, whatever that's being communicated or whatever you're finding out, whatever messages you are getting, whatever clarity, you intuitively already knew. Y'all reading is just taking a turn, like something here is going left, okay? Seven of Swords. You already knew the high priestess like knows, but but they don't say much. Even in this deck, um, even in this deck, you guys had something about seven here. The earth signs also had seven, 77. Even in this deck, the seven chakra, your crown chakra, it's like it's giving high priestess energy because it's like, you know, even though you don't speak on it, okay, or you don't tell or you don't talk about it, you have the knowledge, you've been keeping something to yourself. So whatever's coming towards you, it's like you already knew, Okay, and then you have the is a lot of secretive energy. Some of y'all are dealing with a Scorpio, very like dark Scorpionic type of energy. Um, high priestess with the seven of swords. It's like you knew about this deception, or you knew about something that was being done. Mm, it's just confirmation. Something here is a confirmation for you this week. Okay, four of swords with the judgment. Yeah, and I feel like maybe you already wrote something off or you already called judgment on the situation. A lot of y'all have been planning, plotting and planning on like an escape or it's like maybe you know about a betrayal and you've just been playing it cool, but behind the scenes you've been, I don't know, building your money, packing your bags and you just about to go, okay? But it's something that's being revealed, okay? Or maybe you're waiting for something to happen so you can make a certain type of move here. Four of Swords to the Judgment, Nine of Cups to the Justice. Okay, Justice, you're getting wish fulfillment. Like, things are falling in your favor. You have some sort of power position or some sort of right to, to, to do something this week, Air Signs. Hangman Energy with the Eight of Wands. Okay, Pisces Energy showing up here again. But it's like something that was on hold or delayed is coming towards you. King of Pentacles definitely could have something to do with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Pisces, another Libra. Pisces is here twice. Okay, Aries, Scorpio. You knew about this King of Pentacles. This could be somebody that you're in a relationship with or someone that you're married to. Okay, or maybe somebody very wealthy. Somebody very arrogant. Okay. Or you knew something about some money. Somebody was hiding or holding on to. And a four of pentacles, okay? It's something that's happening this week and it's very obvious that it is what it appears to be. Like, it looks like it, it smells like it, it sounds like it, it is it type of energy. But this person is still in denial. Seven of swords to the four of pentacles, they're still in denial, okay? Or maybe you're in denial, air signs. But it's like they're still not willing to admit to it or take some sort of accountability. Whoever it is, though, this King of Pentacles is being knocked down from the King of Pentacles to the Four of Pentacles. Do you see how karma is hitting here? Karma, especially with this judgment and this justice card, karma is hitting somebody very hard, okay? They're being knocked down from the King of Pentacles, feeling like they have it all, superior type of, you know, arrogant type of mentality, energy, personality, whatever, to struggling here. And it's because they've been being shady, okay? And it just feels like y'all got some sort of power position, like you've just been waiting on the right time to strike or something you've done here. It was very strategic, whether you intentionally, you know, did it or not, like you, you've made some very good moves here, like chess moves here. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we got the two of pentacles. All right, so somebody doesn't know what to do. 
or somebody's trying to figure out exactly how to like tell you a story or communicate something to you four cups four of wands double fours somebody's denying like another relationship here for some of you guys it's like somebody was juggling somebody could have had two different lifestyles or something like that and they've been denying like a, a marriage or another relationship or something like that seven of wands two of swords but it's like you already knew yeah knight of wands king of swords ten of wands queen of swords yeah between the king and the queen of swords you got the ten of wands tens are ending it's baggage it's, a, it's like you are it's like checkmate type energy but somebody is like knight of cups the ace of swords it's like somebody is trying to really tell you the truth about what happened but it's still not the truth what's this two of pentacles what's this two of pentacles for my air signs a lot of y'all are really dealing with the earth sign but let's see what's this two of pentacles spirit what's going on what's this two of pentacles for this week the four of wands and the seven of wands. It's like somebody is trying their best. Something about these sevens popping up for everybody. Somebody is like maybe coming on strong or really trying to convince you. And then we get this three of swords popping out. Trying to convince you of something. But behind that, you have the page of swords, which is a lie. And the three of cups about a third party. Okay, so knight of pentacles to the emperor. So it's like you already know what's up. So you put, you stopping this person in their tracks. Could be an Aries, okay, or a father figure. Five of cups, two of wands. Somebody is like maybe trying to come back. Something. Somebody's trying to come back to you saying that they're completely done with all the BS, blah, 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 or something like that. But it's like you stopping this person at the door. You're stopping somebody in their tracks because you already know what's up. Who we? All right. So let's see what the divine doors uh, has to say for you. At the bottom, we already have forgive and forget. And it says a ritual cleansing of pain and lies arise and awaken a new sunrise. Like you're just, you're done with this. Maybe you're calling judgment. Like somebody's trying to get one over on you, but you already know. Like very intuitive. Okay. Very intuitive. The damn intuition card popped out here. Okay. Simple, complex words of pain, words that heal. You come to know the truth by the way that it feels. Trust what you feel this week, air signs. Always trust what you feel, but trust what you feel about the situation. It says a moment's joy. Sand through the hourglass, yet time could stand still. A moment lasts forever in the bliss of a heart's will, okay? I don't know. Maybe somebody's trying to hold on to you, but there's it's shadiness, something like that. Or maybe this is your happiness, like a sign for you to just hold on to your happiness, not allowing this person and their BS to come in and try to finesse you some type of way, okay? So I'm going to leave it here. Leave me a comment below letting me know how it resonates with you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, you guys, and I will see you next time.